gentlemen, welcome to this week's edition of For the Now Space News. I'm your host, Colin Jason F. Matthew Colin Glass, and this edition covers the past week. First up, I would like to send positive thoughts towards the people in Kentucky who are dealing with the uh, flash flooding and, you know, hope everybody down there is safe or gets to safety. ASAP. So the first headline of the evening comes from ABC News. Canada says Pope's apology to indigenous not enough. So Canada says, have you ever met Canada? I've never met a Canada. But apparently Canada must be someone important important enough to get a headline on C- on uh, ABC News here. In this sense, Canada is an adjective, which is coloring says into an adjective, which is coloring popes into an adjective, which is coloring apology into a pronoun, followed by future tense adverb two, modifying indigenous into a verb. And then we have another adverb not modifying enough into a dangling participle verb. The Canadian government says Pope Francis' apology to indigenous peoples for abuses they suffered in the country's church-run residential schools didn't go far enough. Well, if I may be so bold as to offer some counsel to Poppy, Poppy, just just send him a little jing, and then they'll shut up, they'll shut their pie holes right up. All right, next headline comes from ABC News. Uh, Ukrainian refugee reunites with cat. They had to leave behind. We have adjective, adjective, pronoun, adverb, verb, adverb, verb, adverb, and a future tense adjective, pronoun. What a wonderful story. As you know, I'm very fond of cats, and uh, I'm happy that, uh, that the people were able to find their cat because I'm sure they were lost without that cat. Next headline comes from the BBC. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that, but I'll say XI and Biden exchange warnings on Taiwan. So they're exchanging warnings on Taiwan. Like right now, my elbows are on this desk. So XI and Biden are on Taiwan and they're exchanging warnings. (laughs) we have two adjectives which are connected by a neutral conjunction coloring exchange into an adjective which is coloring warnings into pronoun followed by non-tangible contract on which is an adverb modifying taiwan into a dangling participle verb next one from bbc Saudi Crown Prince's lavish Macron visit prompts outcry. Hmm. Would a prince have anything, any other kind of a visit besides lavish? I don't think so. I wonder who's crying out. I know there's a lot of outcry about all these adjectives here. Holy cow. Adjective, 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 pronoun. That's about all there is to say about that. Next one comes from Yahoo News. Trump's Trump notifies CNN of intent to file defamation lawsuit regarding his unproven election claims. So we have adjective Trump, adjective notifies, adjective CNN, pronoun of. And guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, we have that uh, apostrophe being used as a quotation. So we have a space, then we have nothing. Then we have another space. So that's excessive spacing. So it's it's as if you're looking at this paper at this headline and it says Trump notifies CNN of and then it's blank. And then it starts up again defamation lawsuit regarding his unproven election claims defamation is adjective lawsuit adjective regarding pronoun his adverb unproven adjective election adjective and claims 
is a pronoun. Next up, we have a 69-year-old man arrested in Tokyo, discovered to have been driving for 50 years without a license. So 69-year-old is one entire uh, term because it's hyphenated and they're all tangible contracts. So it's an adjective. Man is adjective. Arrested is pronoun in past tense because of the ED. In adverb Tokyo adjective discovered. Again, past tense pronoun with the ED there. Two is future tense adverb have adjective been adjective driving pronoun for adverb 50 adjective years adjective without pronoun a adverb and license dangling participle verb what i have to say about that is ladies and gentlemen do you know what a license is if you drive without a license you're doing something illegal right but if you get the license suddenly it's legal so basically a license is a permit that you pay for so that you can do something illegal. Um, interesting thing here that they like to do, they like to put past tense and future tense in the same sentence. So it's a lot of uh, time travel going on here. Final headline of the evening, Putin backed Donbass leader says it's Time to liberate Kyiv in renewed threat to Ukraine's capital. So Putin backed as a hyphenated tangible contract adjective, actually in the past tense, which I didn't put on there. It should be 3.8. So we have a bunch of uh, adjectives here uh, culminating in non-tangible contract pronoun it's. And then we have the old you know, apostrophe being used as a quotation. And then we have the double spacing, which is excessive spacing, breaking and continuing to the evidence. We start up again with pronoun cleave and then followed by uh, adverb in and then renewed past tense adjective threat pronoun to future tense adverb Ukraine, uh, tangible contract adjective and then capital is a pronoun. So if you read that without the, when you take the quotation, the apostrophe, apostrophe section off the page, it reads, Putin back Donbass leader says, it's Kyiv in renewed threat to Ukraine's capital. So that's an interesting, uh, interesting situation there. Now it's on to meme of the day. I accept what I can't control. And finally, we have the cognitive conjecture of the week. And uh, this was published today, I guess. It has two views. And as you see here, the common error of the colon space and then spaceport, which means of the spaceport and of the travel certificate. <laughs> And then we have comma and an ID space card, which this alone throws the whole thing into adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, because it's not hyphenated, first of all. Second of all, we have a particle of negation. We have two capital letters. What does id mean? No. In any case, so that makes this an adjective this ampersand is a pronoun. Travel certificate is a pronoun. ID is an adjective and card is a pronoun. But I'm speaking to you there, fellow in the video here, uh, Jason Paul Grievous. If you want to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, you are more than welcome to email me at this email address, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute consultation and see if you're serious about this grammar. Um, it's up to you though. Anyways, let's move on to this. 
I uh, found some interesting things in this video. Let's let's see what he's doing here. Which is there. Check out that document. Look at all the different spacings, justifications. Now, if he gives closure to why it's anything but left justified, then that's a whole nother story. Uh, and also, I can't really read what it says quite. But judging by the, the title of this video, I can kind of guess uh, what it is. The thumbprint section. And on there, above this logo, you'll place your photo ID. Is he smoking a cigarette on video? What? On that bit so that's the first page done the second page this is what the second page looks like all right ladies and gentlemen those of you out there who are familiar with correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar and syntaxing and doing forensics on documents what do you see there now let's hear what, ha what he has to say about it. So people are probably thinking, oh, there's a box there, but it's correct sentence structure in a box. If you don't understand how the four corner rule works, the four corner rule dictates anything inside a box can't be, can't be seen, can't be considered. That's also true. But in, co in contract, the four corner rule also stipulates that whatever's inside the box has its own terms and conditions so the terms and conditions of what inside this box are the vessels features so that would be the, the vessels name vessels color model number vessel size the maximum weight capacitor if you know it okay ladies and gentlemen to wrap this up very briefly what he just said was that he he just told you what, what the rule of boxing is. And then he goes on to say that he's using it anyways to give some pertinent information about a vessel. Now, he said something about terms and conditions. But looking in that box, I don't see anything any anything in there that gives me a hint of a, a list of terms and conditions. I just see some lines where I, I can guess that people are going to write something in there. And then you know, related to whatever comes before it. But my question is this, why use a box at all? It doesn't seem to be necessary for anything other than it's not on the paper. He just said it wasn't on the paper. So whatever this contract is, this page basically just has a barcode on it and that's it. Um, he just blatantly just said what it was. <laughs> And that is your cognitive conjecture for the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that about wraps it up for this evening's edition. Hope you enjoyed it. And again, uh, heart goes out to those individuals in Kentucky down there. Uh, my wife and I do love to go down to Kentucky at uh, times and just hope that everybody's safe down there. And... Again, if you want to leave some questions or comments, do so in the comments section. Um, what you'd like to see, if there's something else you want to know about. Uh, of course, close to 400 videos on this YouTube channel. Go ahead and feel free to study if you, if you want to learn quantum grammar. Uh, if you want to take classes, you can email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. And I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute uh, consultation for you where we can talk about that and also if you want to become a member of this channel there are two tiers uh tier one's basically for people that just want to show you know some gratitude for what it is that i do tier two comes with a lot of perks where you get exclusive content exclusive member streams exclusive polls and just stuff that's not available to the public however there is a lot available to the public almost 400 videos so if you want to learn correct sentence structure 
highly recommend digging in. Till next time.